Worst 5 faux pas to avoid when virtual networking. Whether you're just getting started in your new role or you've been around a few years, you know that a strong network is critical for your career. In fact, you've probably already been affected by a professional connection in some way. Connections are not only beneficial for mentorship and finding your next opportunity, they're also necessary for your overall health and well-being. For many years, most of us have considered networking as face-to-face -face conversations at events or gatherings. However, in today's world, that is changing rapidly. Virtual networking is becoming just as important as face-to-face -face networking. While there's really no right or wrong way to network, it's easy to make a few faux pas when connecting online. In this presentation, we'll look at five of the worst faux pas that must be avoided when you are virtual networking. Sending random LinkedIn requests. When you're attending a virtual networking event, don't automatically send someone a social media request to connect just because you like what they say. Take the time to talk with them and send them a personal message first. Be an individual, not just someone that clicks buttons. Making it all about new connections. While it's true that networking is about meeting new people and checking out opportunities for connection, you don't want to forget about your existing relationships. If you struggle with maintaining your current relationships, there's no reason to bother trying to build new ones. Not dressing appropriately. When you are planning to attend a virtual networking event, you need to think about how you would dress if you were attending that same event in person. While it's true that a lot depends on the industry you're in and the event that you're attending, but you're not likely to show up looking unkempt and dirty. You're probably going to make yourself look presentable. This is because you want to make a good impression. After all, although it's through video, people can still see you and will make judgments based on your appearance. Therefore, you want to make sure that you look the part when joining a meeting. Not solving technical issues. One of the primary issues that you're going to come across when it comes to virtual networking is having an unprofessional setup. If you're having issues, it's going to look bad on you. Before you log into the meeting, be sure that you test your setup and see if there's any issues that need to be resolved. You'll want to make sure that your microphone and camera are connected and functioning properly. You'll also want to ensure that your speakers are working so that you can hear everyone and that your internet connection is stable. Immediately cold pitching. When it comes to pitching your products or services, cold pitching is the same whether in person or virtually networking. If you jump right into a conversation where you're trying to make a connection via social media and you just want to sell your products or services, they're not likely to be interested in what you have to say. Instead, take some time to get to know someone and build a genuine relationship with them. No one is attending an event to be sold products or services that they're not interested in. They want to meet people who are real and can provide value to their lives. Conclusion Over the past several years, the world has moved more to virtual networking in lieu of face-to-face -face networking. However, there's really not much difference between the two. You need to be aware of what you're doing and how you approach meeting and connecting with others. Keep these most common faux pas in mind so that you can avoid them and be more successful when you're virtual networking. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.